Robert Boucher, first Baron Boucher was Lord Chancellor of England, the first layman to hold the post. Family. Robert Boucher was the eldest son of John de Boucher, a judge of the Common Pleas, by his wife Helen of Colchester, daughter and heir of Walter of Colchester of Stansted Hall, in Halstead, Essex. The Boucher family seat became the estate of Stansted in the parish of Halstead, Essex, in which county the family later acquired several estates. Life. Robert initially followed his father in working for the De Vere family, Earls of Oxford, but later worked for the Crown. He served on a diplomatic mission to France in 1327 and was returned as a Member of Parliament for the County of Essex in 1328 9, 1330, 1332, and 1339. He held a number of judicial positions, despite no evidence for legal training, and in 1334 he was Chief Justice of the King's Bench in Ireland, but never took up office. His military career was more active, joining the invasion of Scotland in 1335, was stated to have been present at the Battle of Cadsand in 1337 and travelled with Earl of Northampton on Edward III's expedition to Flanders in 1338. On 3 June 1341 he received, in the name of Robert S. Borgia, Stansted, a royal license to crenellate his house at Stansted in the parish of Halstead in Essex. On his return to England, the King Edward III committed the Great Seal, which had been alternating between Archbishop John de Stratford and his brother Robert de Stratford, the Bishop of Chichester, to Boucher, who thus became, on 14 December 1340, the first lay chancellor. His salary was fixed at £100, besides the usual fees. In the struggle between the king and the archbishop, Boucher withheld the writ of summons to the ex-chancellor, interrupted his address to the bishops in the painted chamber, and on 27 April 1341 urged him to submit to the king. When the Parliament of 1341 extorted from the king his assent to their petitions that the account of the royal offices should be audited, and that the Chancellor and other great offices should be nominated in Parliament, and should swear to obey the laws, Boucher declared that he had not assented to these articles, and would not be bound by them, as they were contrary to his oath into the laws of the realm. He nevertheless exemplified the statute, and delivered it to Parliament. He resigned his office on 29 October 1341. Robert continued to serve in the King's Council, as a diplomat and as a soldier. In 1342, he commanded a contingent in Brittany, and is recorded as being at the Battle of C.R.E. Acute C.Y. in 1346. He was summoned to Parliament as a peer in November 1348 and from then was known as Lord Boutier. He died the following year, probably of the Black Death, and was buried at Halstead, where he had intended to found a college of eight chaplains. Marriage an issue. At some time before 1329 he married Margaret Prayers, daughter and heiress of Sir Thomas Prayers of Sybil Headingham and his wife Anne of Essex, daughter of Hugh of Essex. They had two known children, John Boucher, second Baron Boucher, eldest son and heir, William Boucher, who married Eleanor de Louvain, daughter and heiress of Sir John de Louvain, feudal Baron of Little Easton in Essex. Their son was William Boucher, first Count of Yew. The eldest grandson of William Boucher was Henry Boucher, first Earl of Essex who inherited the barony of Boucher from the senior line of the family, being the heir of his cousin Elizabeth Boucher, S.U. O'Jury, fourth Baroness Boucher.